Hello and welcome to this week's video. I will be returning to coloured platter rooms. As you can see, there's the proof. Um, but before we get on to that, uh, a big thank you to Costas Anikas from Anikas Greek Handicrafts on the beautiful island of Kefalonia. I haven't been there for nearly 15 years or so, but it's a beautiful place. Must go another day and maybe bump into you, Costas. I'll put a link to your channel at the bottom and keep those videos coming. Um, if you've not seen any, they're well worth watching. Uh, not only for Costas's infectious personality and his enthusiasm, but also for the beautiful olive wood that he's able to get his hands on. Um, the sticker will go up on my sticker wall. Sticker wall? Sticker ceiling. Um, I'll have to take a still image of that. My camera won't pick it up uh, and put that in at some point in the video. Um, but let's get on and deal with my colour fixation. OK, hope you enjoy this week's video. Thanks a lot. Oh, and one other thing before we get started, uh, as with the Elm Burr platter that I posted last, um, I've been using a new program called OBS, which lets you do multi-camera setups. I've got a camera one here, two, three, and one more is yet to, to plug in. Um, it lets me combine images so that you can see close-ups, but also see some of the body movements with some of the, some of the techniques and tools that I'm using. Um, if it gets on your nerves, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. If you like it, let me know. Okay, that's enough chat. Okay, so you've got quite a nice close-up of, of this on the smaller camera here, and then I can talk to you on the wide camera. This was a disaster. Covered in acrylic paint, but like all disasters in life, it can just be put on a lathe and turned away. Yeah, I wish. Now, before I start, you've seen me use this tool before. You've seen me talk about um, the switch here, how easy it is to turn it on and off, inadvertently at times. So it's not turned on at the plug yet. You've also seen me put grooves in, colour them black, and then air spray or airbrush over. I'm going to put some some grooves in, which I'm going to colour, um, then sand the overspray off. Then rather than use the airbrush, I'm going to build up the, the finish in a more sort of dappled uh, dappled way and sort of see what, what we end up with. Well, hopefully it'll be something enjoyable. Now this is something of what I'm going for, um, but I want there to be a bit more colour in the grooves, a bit more variation. Um, it's just how to have fun without ruining blanks. Just practice a technique on a on a third of the third of the blank. Here's my little rack of airbrushes. I could, of course, just go for black in, in the grooves, but I think that'll be a little bit... Well, it'll be a bit repetitive, wouldn't it? So I'm going to go for something a little bit different. Purple's coming through now. Just catching the tips of each with the purple. It's quite tricky making sure you get right down into the bottom of the texture.
you can see how two coats of red make it a much stronger color than the than the single coat that we've got here which is a bit light it's not been sealed I know I often do seal the wood but this hasn't been sealed yet so it will be soaking in a bit more okay now so far I put the colors on all over the I'm just going to put some purple on in just a few places still looking a little uh, and not like autumn colors really to me let's we'll see see what happens with this strange choice of color which is some more blue but again just to be dabbled on dabbed on sparingly in a few places come back to some yellow which will just brighten the bits in between where I've put the purple and the and the blue and then a final bit of red again just in these lighter areas just to darken that up a bit if this wasn't a test piece I probably wouldn't have such a flat rim um, which will bring a make the light catch it in different ways as well I think I'm going to do one more coat of yellow and then there'll be a tiny bit more airbrushing Okay, let's leave that to dry and then we'll seal it. I think one of the things, perhaps because I haven't sealed it, and I, 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 as I say, I normally do, is a lot of the colours have, have blended with each other a lot more um, than, than I've got with some other techniques that I've tried. Um, but uh, got to leave it to dry, really. Um, there is some nice variation in the colour in this part, and I do like, I do like the, con the contrast. I think um, it was a bit stronger before the the black went on and before the last bit of airbrushing, but um, that's looking quite interesting. And like I say, the colours are entirely optional. You can do whatever colours you like. Right, that's got to be left to dry. Going to put some sanding sealer on now because the stain is completely dry. I'm keeping the mask on because it's still quite dusty in here. Um, that's been done to 240 and uh, I'm just going to put a bit of cut and polish on. Okay, there we have it, finished. Uh, I'm going to keep it in the chuck. I'm going to keep it in the chuck to photograph it in case I do decide I want to keep it, but uh, I'll just show you what it looks like on the other side. Not very impressive at the moment, but um, let's lock the headstock. Finished on this side. 
very um very attractive finish if i say so myself it's certainly grown on me and there there were moments early on when i was doubting what i was uh doing i did say that if i were making this with the intention of it being a finished piece that i probably wouldn't have left the rim flat i'd like a bit of definition of shape or leading into the to the bold part of the platter but i've um not done that this time because it was just another experiment it's a blank that's been through a lot um frank if you're watching i did have one go of uh pouring paint but i really should have waited until i've um, got all the proper ingredients my my effort didn't work very well but i've got a very nice thick texture on um but yeah if i decide i want to keep this i'll put a recess here so I can mount it on the chuck and then I can shape the back and the rim and then uh, and see if someone else likes it enough to buy it and uh, that would be great okay I'll put up some close-ups and thanks very much for watching the video cheers